Welcome back to the channel, Kings and Queens. This is King Tech HD. I'm gonna go over my top five Apple Watch bands. Now I realized I had an Apple Watch band problem when my wife asked me, hey, why do you have so many bands come to the house? And I said, hey, why do you got so many beauty products come to the house? Now that did not go over so well, that conversation. But from there is when I realized maybe I do have a little bit of band problem. All right, so after that band invention, I was able to look within myself and make myself a better person by just getting a band every three months or so instead of every month. Now let's go to the top five video. These are from Lassiter. So it's synthetic silicone or synthetic rubber, I should say. Similar to silicone bands, but they're not silicone bands. I did get these on Amazon. I believe they were six for 10 bucks or so. So very cheap. If you go to Apple, they're $99 each. I went to the Apple store, played around with the ones in the store. They felt very similar. The ones in the Apple store are durable. So you get that, but I stay, I still saved about 80 bucks getting the six pack over getting one of the ocean bands in the Apple store. So this is my fifth choice. Number four goes to, I would say the Nike sport bands. Now the Nike sport bands are great for working out and also are great for just everyday use. They are breathable, they are lightweight and they do have the hook and loop fastener. So they're pretty cool. Uh, uh, not so much to write home about. They're good for what they do. That's pretty much it. When you get these wet or you sweat on them with the holes, it's easier to clean the band and make sure the band is not just collecting all that gunk for you. So these are good being that they have the whole versions and they're more breathable. So this would be my fourth place band. My third place band has to go to the sport loops. I love the sport loops. I probably wear these more than anything. These are also, of course, breathable. They're durable. They're strong. They do have what's called an affinity or affinity uh, loop or affinity sizing. That is, you can make these as loose or you can make them as tight as you want to. These are definitely my go-to when I'm going to play basketball or when I'm working out. I'm going to pick one of these up, just so you know. These are great to have as well, too. Soft, durable, one of the, my favorite bands. My second choice when it comes to bands would be the Trail Loop. The Trail Loop does have the titanium lugs on them. And they are made of nylon, so they also are breathable. But these two are knockoffs. I picked these bad boys up for about 10 bucks for both of them. So save some money. When you go to the Apple store and get the original ones, they are $99 as well too. So $99, two for 10, you make that decision. But I will say these are my top two choice when it comes to my top five Apple Watch bands. They are pine loops. They don't even make the list. I'm sorry. My number one choice is going to be the leather link band. Unfortunately, they have switched to fine woven, so these are not sold anymore. I did pick this up on Amazon. There was a seller selling it for 50% off, so I picked that up right when I saw it. This is the ink color. I do love the way it's patina. It is made out of a French leather. So these are natural leather. They patina and age quite well. They're very durable. They don't sell them anymore, unfortunately. So you do have to go to get a fine woven if you go to the Apple store or look on third party sites and you may still find a leather link band. But this is durable lightweight as well too i love the magnets how they fasten you can also make this as tight as you want or as loose as you want and i love the look and the feel of the leather link band i am trying to get some more leather bands to see if i could test those and give y'all my you know overall review on those but until then hope y'all have a great day
like my video, and subscribe.